Directed Energy Weapons, or DEWs, are a class of weapons that emit energy in an aimed direction without the use of traditional projectiles. These weapons use focused energy, such as lasers, microwaves, or particle beams, to damage or incapacitate targets. You may have heard a weapon referred to as the Rods of God. These are not directed energy weapons. Instead, it is a type of kinetic bombardment weapon which we will also discuss in this video. My channel has all kinds of content for deep thinkers, so if you like this video, share. If you like my channel, subscribe and let me know what you think. Types of Directed Energy Weapons First, laser weapons, which emit concentrated beams of light, laser, that can be used to destroy or disable targets. Its current applications include anti-missile systems, anti-aircraft weapons, and disabling vehicles or electronic systems. Examples of lasers are high-energy lasers, which are used to target and destroy incoming missiles or drones. Another example is LAWS, or laser weapon system. These are deployed by the U.S. Navy for defense against small boats and drones. The second type of directed energy weapons is microwave weapons, which use high-frequency microwave radiation to disrupt or damage electronic equipment and systems. They are used to disable enemy electronics for crowd control and as anti-drone measures. A couple of examples of microwave weapons include the Active Denial System, ADS, which is a non-lethal crowd control device that causes an intense burning sensation by heating the skin. Then there is the Counter Electronics High Power Microwave Advanced Missile Project, CHAMP, designed to disable electronics with a burst of microwave energy. The third type of directed energy weapons are particle beam weapons, which work by accelerating charged particles, such as protons or electrons, to high velocities and directing them at targets. Particle beam weapons have uses for missile defense and anti-satellite systems. They remain mostly experimental at this stage, with ongoing research in defense labs. Next, let's discuss the Rods of Gods. As mentioned, the Rods of God is a completely different technology from DEWs. It uses kinetic bombardment, which involves using large, dense, non-explosive projectiles that are dropped from orbit to strike targets on Earth. The term Rods of God specifically refers to tungsten rods that are launched from a satellite in space. The rods, typically made of tungsten due to its high density and melting point, would be dropped from space and accelerated by gravity to very high speeds, potentially exceeding 10,000 feet per second. The kinetic energy generated upon impact would be immense, causing significant destruction through sheer force rather than an explosion. The rods create a high-speed impact, relying on their high velocity and mass to generate destructive kinetic energy upon impact. The damage is caused by the kinetic energy alone, without the need for conventional explosives. If guided accurately, the rods could strike with great precision, making them effective against hardened targets such as bunkers or underground facilities. Advantages of Directed Energy Weapons Directed Energy Weapons, or DEWs, can engage targets at the speed of light, making them extremely fast and capable of hitting high-speed threats like missiles or aircraft. They offer high precision, allowing for targeted strikes with minimal collateral damage. One advantage after the initial investment is the cost per shot of a DEW is relatively low compared to traditional munitions. As long as there is a power source, DEWs can continue to fire, unlike conventional weapons that rely on finite ammunition supplies. DEWs can be used in a wide range of scenarios, from non-lethal crowd control to disabling enemy electronics or destroying missiles. Since the rods of God are deployed from orbit, they have a global reach and could potentially strike anywhere on the planet with little warning. They are extremely hard to defend against. The high speed and direct descent make them difficult to intercept or defend against. Another amazing advantage of the rods of God is minimal collateral damage. Precision strikes with kinetic energy severely limit collateral damage compared to traditional explosives. There are challenges and limitations to these technologies. One limitation of directed energy weapons is their power requirements. They require significant amounts of power which can be challenging to generate and sustain, especially in mobile platforms. 
they are also dependent on atmospheric conditions. Environmental factors like dust, rain, and fog can reduce the effectiveness of laser and microwave weapons. They are high energy systems that generate substantial heat, requiring effective thermal management and cooling mechanisms to prevent overheating. Another limitation is that DEWs generally require a direct line of sight to the target, which can limit their use in certain terrains or situations where obstructions exist. Lastly, directed energy weapons are very technically complex. The development and maintenance of DEWs involve advanced technologies and materials, leading to high initial costs and technical challenges. As with everything, cost is always a consideration. Launch and deployment costs of putting large tungsten rods into orbit is extremely expensive. Maintaining and targeting such weapons would require sophisticated orbital mechanics and technology. Lastly, deploying weapons in space could violate international law and treaties such as the Outer Space Treaty, which seeks to prevent the militarization of space. Let's look at this Outer Space Treaty, which is formally known as the Treaty on Principles Governing the Activities of States in the Exploration and Use of Outer Space, including the Moon and other celestial bodies, is an international agreement that was adopted by the United Nations in 1967. The treaty establishes key principles for the use and exploration of outer space, including that outer space shall be used exclusively for peaceful purposes, and the use of weapons of mass destruction in space is prohibited. No country can claim sovereignty over outer space or any celestial body. All countries have the right to freely explore and use outer space without discrimination. States must be responsible for their activities in outer space, including those of private entities and must avoid harmful contamination of space and celestial bodies. And states must conduct their activities in space in a manner that avoids harmful interference with other space activities. The treaty is a foundational framework for international space law and has been signed and ratified by numerous countries around the world. Directed energy weapons and rods of God represent a significant advancement in military and security technology, offering fast, precise, and cost-effective means of engaging a wide range of targets. While they come with challenges such as high power requirements and sensitivity to atmospheric conditions, ongoing research and development are likely to overcome these obstacles, leading to broader deployment and new applications in the future. Do these high-tech weapons give you a feeling of comfort or do you fear that they could be used against you? Until next time, be safe.